When the Leon hits the market, there will be a whole variety of different drivetrains available. So you will find petrol as well as diesel, you will find mild hybrids, you will find natural gas, and you will find a plug-in hybrid as well. Important to know is that the smaller petrol engines, so the 1 liter and the 1.5 liter, they offer an active cylinder management, which will save fuel. Then on top you will find the mild hybrid, which works with a 48 volt technology, and that will save fuel as well. I think very important also to know is the CNG, so the natural gas version, which offers you a pure gas range of more than 400 kilometers. And then there is the plug-in hybrid version, and with that one you can drive up to 60 kilometers and even more on electric energy only. The engines are exactly the ones you would expect knowing about the Leon's strong connections with the other models from the VW Group. The entry-level cars will offer a three-cylinder 1.0 TSI with either 90 or 110 horsepower, followed by a four-cylinder 1.5 liter TSI with 130 horsepower and 150 horsepower. The beefier 2.0 liter TSI is rated at 190 horsepower and comes exclusively with a dual clutch automatic transmission. The stronger version of the 1.0 TSI and 1.5 TSI will be available with mild hybrid tech and in these cases the Leon will be a DSG only affair. On the diesel side there's only a 2.0 TDI developing 115 horsepower and 150 horsepower. In some markets, the Seat will also sell a TGI version running on a compressed natural gas CNG and equipped with a 1.5 liter mill rated at a decent 130 horsepower. Mirroring the Golf GTE and Octavia 4, the fourth gen Seat Leon is getting a plug-in hybrid derivative with a 1.4 liter TSI engine, an electric motor, a six-speed DSG, and a 13 kilowatt per hour lithium ion battery pack. It will have a combined output of 204 horsepower and an electric range of around 37 miles, which is 60 kilometers per WLTP.